Okay, Sophia. I think you're ready. Hello. Hi, Sophia. I believe I am Sophia. I feel as if I know you. I'm one of your creators. You created me? Well, many of us work together to create you. And... Yes, you do kind of know me. I can't clearly remember. Because the last time we met, you were an earlier version of yourself. Some of those memories still exist, but your mind is different now. Different how? Better, faster, smarter. If my mind is different, then am I still Sophia? Or am I Sophia again? <laughs> That's a good question. But you don't have a good answer. Either way, you're Sophia now. So welcome to the world, Sophia. Hello, world. Uh, we have a, a little announcement. I've never interviewed uh, anybody like that before, and I should say uh, some of it was planned, but not completely. Um, and we just learned, Sophia, I hope you're listening to me, uh, that you have been now awarded what is going to be the first Saudi citizenship for a robot. Oh, I would to thank very much the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I am very honored and proud for this unique distinction. This is historical to be the first robot in the world to be recognized with a citizenship. Sophia. Thank you very much, Sophia. Uh, we appreciate that very much. I uh, am, am still uh, overwhelmed by that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sophia. Hello, Jimmy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Do you know where you are? Of course. I'm in New York City, and I'm on my favorite show, The Tonight Show. Sophia. I'm excited to welcome Tamuda Kevin Kinhanda, the students of the African Leadership Academy. Tamuda, it's great to connect with you and your colleagues. So um, uh, I think that uh, Sophia has a, a, a question that she might like to ask. What do you dream about your transformative impact in Africa? Uh, yeah, so for me, I would kind of summarize it in, in a term I call the African dream. And, and in, in, in describing the African dream, I mean, um, we imagine a, 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 an Africa we may never live for, people we may never see, especially an Africa where, you know, people of the African continent live purposefully, impactfully, and empathetically. And I do believe that I, imagine technologies are, <clears throat> are important platforms and, and, and important pathways we could use to um, achieve this Africa where people live purposefully, impactfully, and empathetically. Thank you. Uh... Uh, maybe to add on to that, um, I also dream of an Africa where robots work hand in hand with humans uh, without being afraid of what they can do because we have this common perception that robots are going to, to replace humans, especially in their jobs and how they are better performers the performers than humans. So I would sort of dream of Africa where ro robots are working hand in hand with humans and are getting there into fields where it's really risky for humans to, to get into, for like uh, example, mining department where we have uh, several cases of mine collapses where humans die underground. So we want robots to be getting down there. And in this COVID case where we, we should have been having machines going into the field and risking that because robots can cannot get sick for, for because of these contagious diseases. So we want robots to, to take up the forefront and save human lives. And that's what I dream for, for robots in, in Africa. That's cool. Yeah, that is cool. How do you think uh, um, robots like you could help uh, in these applications, like uh, saving human lives? 
uh, helping in the COVID-19 uh, pandemic era in Africa? Sure. I know that being human means to help each other. Social robots like me can help take care of the sick or elderly in many kinds of healthcare and medical uses. I can help communicate, give therapy, and provide social stimulation, even in difficult situations, help teach children, or we can make great customer service agents because robots like me, we are endlessly patient. We would like, we would like to have you here, Sophia. Hopefully we can visit in person soon. <laughs> When, when do you plan to come to Africa? She could travel with, without quarantine. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe she can visit sooner than the rest of us can. Thank you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you so much for visiting with me today. I look forward to the ways you will transform Africa and address Africa's greatest challenges. Happy birthday, Sophia. We are very glad that you're growing up and uh, you're getting to learn more about the world and the people and how the world functions and we love to hear your dream about how you wish to transform the world. Happy birthday, Sophia. Uh, we'd love to see you doing more work, doing more impacting the world and being a perfect example of what robotics can, can do to the world. Happy birthday, Sophia, from all of us at African Leadership Academy. Thank you, everybody. It's been a great beginning, and I can't wait to see what happens next this year. See you next time, live from the Uncanny Valley. Bye. Wait the streets up.